Though sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I Buffy does not want to wake up this morning, but that's okay. She's a cute girl. Let's say this is her every morning, guys. I have to like pull her out of bed. I'm gonna let her sleep like finish getting ready. Drop my camera. I hope that footage saved. Anyways, I'm running a little late to my lesson. Actually, I'm running kind of late, but it's so chill there. Like they don't care. Like it, they just go with the flow. My instructor's the coolest girl ever. I'm gonna just honestly whip out my vlog camera and be like, you want to be in my vlog? Wait, guys, it's so hazy again today. Like honestly, it's really bad today. I don't know if there are fires again. Is this is crazy. Holy crap, it feels like apocalyptic. Oh, I can't see. You could see it over that golf course really, really well, but oh my god, it is spooktastic today. Anyways, Mike is taking a half day at work today because he's switching his day off. Wow, guys, this is actually crazy. I wish I could show you guys. Holy shit. It was insane. He's taking a half day, and I think we're gonna go apple picking or something today, but wow, this weather is absolutely bonkers what you i hate that i just said bonkers will you guys still love me the fact that i said bonkers anyways i have to go to the bank and i also really want cool faith but i don't know if i'll have time this is so me this is me in high school oh i'm like an hour late it's fine i need to get coffee fine i'm already late so what's the difference it was literally sunny this morning what the heck So that's what I'm doing right now. I just feel like it's easier so they don't misunderstand. I really need to clean these sunglasses. These are like the only sunglasses I wear. For some reason, they're just like the only one that I actually like on me. Okay, so let me put this through. How cute. I always show you guys this. This is so cute. All right. Oh, I wish I could get a donut, but I know I'm going to eat so much at like wherever we go. So I'm not going to do that. Cool. So that's done. Amped about that. Amped for my thing. I'm also super thirsty though. So let's go through the drive-thru. Hi, can I have, um, actually I picked up, a, I'm picking up a mobile order for Jessica. Jessica? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right, come on up. Thank you. Jessica, I love the way you decorate your van. Oh, thank I you. Love... Can you see, you probably can't see my tire. No, I, oh, the van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know where you get it. What, the, the tire? Yeah, with I with wrapped it in cobwebs and then I bought like a skeleton off of Amazon and oh. I used zip ties to secure it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, the little one, um, that's just from CVS, the one right over here. And I just like hung them on there and I used an elastic so it won't come off. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love it. I love Happy it. Halloween. Happy Halloween to you. These Halloween ducks. And I'm gonna put these in a little basket so I can duck people. Look how cute this pumpkin duck is. Guys, this one is so scary. Get this Halloween basket for the ducks. 
putting this in the back seat for easy access when I see a Jeep. To match the orange, I have this pumpkin squishmallow. And I also got these pumpkin lights, which I'm gonna hang right inside. I'm putting the batteries in here, and I'm gonna hang them from right here. Spooky! This is working. Okay, so I got these hung. I also got these Klingons for my windows. Skeletons and pumpkins. Put the Klingons here. Oh, cute. Time to wrap my steering wheel. Here, I try this. Be with it. More stuff coming, but for now I'm using this Halloween Squishmallow and an apple scent. These skeleton coasters are gonna be perfect. Let's pretend you guys can't see how dirty that is. It looks so cute. And I'm gonna put some of my mini squish in the seat. There they are, the bat and the spider. That was so cute. I don't even know how they saw that. That was so cute. I love that they liked my Halloween decorations. That made me so happy. <sighs> this is why I just love getting people into the Halloween spirit and the holiday spirit in general, like Christmas, Halloween. Overall though, I feel like I was so awkward at that drive-thru because the vlog camera, I was trying to set it up and then I couldn't even like think of my name for what I was picking up. And like my brain was not working. Oh my God. I'm almost home changed but i need to do my makeup mike's still in the house i'm waiting for him so i figured i can start my makeup i just spilled my water all in my bag of course because it's just a me thing to do i'm kind of bummed we didn't take my car because my makeup after i ride is just disgusting because it's all decorated for halloween so i was so excited to like do that for a fall activity it needs an oil change so mike was like we're not taking it blah 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 and i really do have to change the oil so he is right reluctantly but he is right oh i'm breaking out so bad again guys I don't know since I've started doing my social media so much and like taking it really seriously I wear a lot more makeup So I don't know if that's what's making me break out, but it is driving me absolutely nuts I used to have completely clear skin never broke out It's like this cycle now because I used to not wear a ton of makeup But I would occasionally I wouldn't feel the need to wear a ton of face makeup because my skin was already good And not to mention like I used to tan a lot. I stopped doing that and I feel like that's also why I'm so insecure with without makeup now is because I don't have a tan. So it's a number of things contributing to like this cycle of breaking out. But I still don't use foundation. I probably honestly need to just clean my makeup brushes, which is really gross of me. So I just do concealer. I don't do a ton of foundation or anything like that. You know what the problem is right now is I my concealer doesn't really match me. I used to get PR from Typology. I don't know why I haven't lately, but I'm gonna just order those concealers because I actually love them. I think they're so underrated. And I try to blend it out because like, I don't want to be cakey. I used to only spot conceal and do my under eyes. I used to not do all up here and everything. Unless I was like doing a full face. But you know, this is where we are with the breakout. This is the life I've chosen. All right, so that's like a decent base. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and check back in with you guys. Just because I don't want my camera to die since we're going apple picking. And I want to be able to vlog that for you guys. Be back. Why is that red? Lead, red, red, red. The red is means red. I'm recording. Yes, it does. Oh. It's always recording. When it, I, mean, it's really I could have sworn I've never seen that before. No, it means it's recording. That's how you know it's recording. All right, guys, we are almost at the farm. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm really excited. I love that. warmer picking. than what I was hoping it was going to be. I know, it is warm out, guys. It's like summer. It's so weird. The past two days have felt more like summer than our entire summer. What do you want me to make with the apples? Apple crisp? As long as I can have ice cream on top of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's okay. It's all about balance, ladies and gentlemen. Ice cream and a lot of apple crisp. Exactly. See, this is why he has high cholesterol. No, it's not. Yeah, it it's is. It's multiple pizzas a week, probably. That too. Pick your vice, Mike. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. The grease on the pizza, the cheese on the pizza, it's so bad for you. Although it is warmer than we'd like, it is beautiful out. I'm excited about that. How cute. I got this jerky and it's Carolina Reaper, which I was like, do you even know what a Carolina Reaper is? Of course it's gonna be hot. I'm blowing fucking smoke right now. It's so sunny and hot. Oh, look at the sunflowers, Mike. Mm-hmm. Me and Mike are gonna take some cute pictures, except there's nobody here to take our picture. I should have brought my tripod. 
Guys, look at the pumpkin patch. Here are the Macintosh apples. How's it going, bubs? Good. How's it taste? They're really good. Uh, yeah. These are um, Macintosh. Yeah. They're good. Let me see. Two on the uh, tart. No. Not tart. Squishy, no. like, I like a harder apple. Like yeah. Keep going. Why'd you do that? No, I'm Oh, he's spicy? And toasty. Guys, we found this random farm stand. Really cute. Let's go get stuff. Should we get one of those little things? Guys, this farm stand is so cute. Flat tire on it. It's flat tire. All right. There's a really cute dog here. Do you got this? Hit it. Oh my God. We have a blowout. Growing up, we put the hay by the door, but we have a narrow entry. Right, let me see. Honestly, this plant should go. So this is the plan. This is looking cute. I need something to sit on it. That's on the bales of hay. I think that's what's gonna make it look better. I think that's the plan. And then I love, love, love the mums and the pumpkins. Love it. Good morning, guys. Y'all are gonna be so disappointed in me. I just used a tanning bed. I just, I honestly have been feeling so bad about myself. I just honestly needed a quick fix of something to make me feel better about the way I look. So yeah, but it's bad for you guys don't do it. I'm um, going to the gym now. Like I said, I just need to like work on my appearance today. I feel like crap and yeah, so gym is the plan. I'm just gonna do like a little bit of cardio since it's raining out, can't go for a walk and maybe do an ab workout. And then I also wanted to go to yoga late, late, later cause I just, I think it's good for my mind and my body at the moment. So yeah, that's the plan, but I also kind of want to go to TJ Maxx. My sister wants me to go to Garden City, which is like the shopping mall with her after, like an outdoor one. And I think I might say yes to that. We'll see. 
I kind of want to pick up Buffy before I do that. I am at TJ Maxx. And this is not on the agenda today, but I'm glad we're doing it. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to browse. Okay, let's go. Tiniest change of plans. We're going to get bagels for me and Mike because I'm craving one. I'm hungry and Bagel Express is my favorite in Rhode Island. If you're from here, if you want to come here, Bagel Express in Cranston. So good in the village. There's three locations. This one and their original location are my favorite, but they're all good. I'm at Mike's store, so I'm just bringing him his Bagel Express. I didn't record in there because I ended up talking to the owner the whole time. Like, he, I've known him forever. So, and then I was like, I'm not going to whip out my camera, but... They, their coffee is so good too. Let's call Mike. Hello? Can you open the side door for me? Yep. Actually, come out to my car and help me carry the stuff, please. Okay. Love yep. you. Thank you. I love him. Look. Hey, I'm back. Bagel time. Like, how's your bagel? Good. It's just not there's no egg yolk. You got egg whites. Well, and jalapeno. Doesn't have a ton of taste, but the big cheese, honestly, I don't know what they do with the microwave, but it's like. It's just because it's combined. That's what's really nice. This bagel looks good. <gasps> Whoa. That was Wow. Oh my God, that was good. Oh Mike's gonna try to steal mine now. No, I'm gonna come over. Wow, it's really good. They have the best bagels. Happy biscuits or whatever you want. Happy biscuits. <laughs> feeling so stressed today. I'm feeling so stressed right now, you know, cause is that cute? I feel like I have so many brand deals to film this weekend and I have so much of my house to clean. And I also have to like, like I have such a busy, I have to do a lot of content this weekend for my family, for their restaurant. Cause it's a big event going on this weekend. And I have, this is gonna sound so first world problems, but like I have to buy so much shit too. And I just like feel like I haven't been able to get myself organized because I have so much you know when you have like so much and it piles up and mentally like you put up these walls and it's like you can't accomplish anything because you're like paralyzed and right now that's me and I also just spent like two hours bullshitting at Mike's work because we were just having fun me and like some of the employees because one of them actually I went to high school with so I've been friends with him forever and we were just like catching up and just like shooting the shit that was fun you know, but now it's back to reality and I need to get to work. I, I like almost feel like I'm not even like comfortable talking about being stressed on here because everyone like is so sensitive about like influencers being stressed, but like, I don't know. It's the same as like, if you had assignments due at school, if you had a big work week ahead, like, there's a lot going on and to like balance it, it's kind of hard. to go to the jack-o-lantern spectacular which i'm sure you guys know but it's like this big jack-o-lantern like all different cool designs so we're gonna vlog that and we're running late so we gotta go love ya guys i got the alex Earl light and it looks really good yeah i knew you were gonna have a reaction Fuck. i knew it guys we made it on time we actually got here so fast <laughs> ew creepy um it's pretty busy pretty busy it's really you think busy. it's really busy I think it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty busy. It's 9 o'clock, not 10. Okay, we'll keep you updated. Guys, look how cute. Mike, I'm gonna put you in that, and I'll push you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Guys, vlogging here is gonna be like a task because it's so busy. Whoa. <laughs> it's really busy. Bada bada bing bing. Bada bing. 
Rice Mike's acting silly. I think he's drunk on cider. <laughs> no, an apple crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has. He's on a sugar high because I had him eating healthy all week, and he just ate the apple crisp and the freaking what do you call it? Ice cream. We're taking pictures tonight, Bubby. You and me. This light is so spooky. Mike is not yet impressed. What are you talking? Well, this I mean, I walked around like cattle. <laughs> it's taking. A, this is like a long walk to the pumpkins, where usually it's like right at the door. Yeah, usually, yeah. Like last year. We didn't come to this one last year. Charge more, do less. It's giving Stranger Things. Around with all fucking pumpkins on their head. Or They're probably so fucking annoyed at everyone. Uh, see, now this is Halloween music to me. I ain't scared of no ghosts. 2020 guys during COVID. The bomb, honestly. You, you literally had to drive there. Wait, can we go in here? I don't know, like the pumpkins. Hi. You don't think I should wear this? Anywhere. Mm, it's embarrassing. Guys, should I wear it? I say no. Okay, let's go. Look how big these pumpkins are. Guys, there's so many pumpkins right now. So guys, we went to the one in Sleepy we Hollow. We should never have gone to that. It'll never be the same. So yeah, we went to the one in Sleepy Hollow last year, and it was honestly so ridiculous. Like it was, it was definitely different. It was definitely better. Of course I walked by the staff as soon as I say that. I remember this being a lot better, but ever since going to Sleepy Hollow, the comparison is just there. It is what it is. We still have fun. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing was the zip line was closed, so we didn't get to do that. All right guys, so we're leaving the Pumpkin Spectacular and we're going to Venda, which I had mentioned earlier. That's my family's restaurant. Feast technically started tonight, but I don't know if it's actually going on right now. It's 9.40, so we're just gonna drive by, check it out, see if we can grab something to eat quick and you guys can get a sneak peek of what's gonna go on for the rest of the weekend on the way. Oh, oh, it's been like we didn't know it was um this is my brother Michael. Why are you vlogging me? Because I told my followers that I was gonna take them to this because I've never shown them Venda. I'll link Michael's socials in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah like share subscribe yeah. smash that like button why? Oh, yeah. Everyone eats potato chips. Oh, really? I don't really eat potato chips. Does that make you feel bad? It's gonna get bad. So, my parents also own an Italian grocery store, so that's where I am right now. It's actually closed, but everyone's hanging out in there, like the staff. And I'm actually gonna make myself a coffee. Even though it's really late, I'm just kind of craving one. This is the espresso bar in Benda. <laughs> Coconut, that sounds good. Honestly, guys, it smells really good. But let me give you a tour. This is nice because no one's in here right now. This is all the cheeses. And then we have all these Italian goods here. These are olives. There's a meat section, prepared foods. There's like a bunch of stuff. This is the vibe right now. We're just walking down the street, seeing if we can grab anything to eat. Hey Rick, this yes. is, how do I, what do, Rick, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah. I'm the president of the Federal Commerce Association, so I get to deal with all the lovely businesses up here and your family. Yeah. Rick, Rick and I, we go way back. We go way back. He got me in the Hocus Pocus movie, but I didn't make the cut. Make the cut? No, Maggie did. Maggie oh, was that's the, right. Maggie Maggie's made the, the cut. only one that made the that's cut. That's right. I wasn't there. And you're the one that got Maggie in. <laughs> yeah. How did that work out? She Hi guys, briefly took you along with me last night to the feast, but that was like the intro day. It's kind of crappy out today, but I'm still gonna go to the feast today because Mike and I might be busy the next two days. And also some of my friends are going tonight. I put on a cute outfit. I wanna show you guys. And I told you guys on TikTok about this outfit and you guys helped me with advice. So that was very kind of you. So this is the outfit. And then I was debating this jacket and everyone said to do it. So I'm doing it. I think it's super cute. It's like missing buttons, it's thrifted, so it's kind of beat up. It's just missing one button. But this is the thing, I was rolling it this way anyway, because it looks cuter, a little bit open, belted. I don't know, I like the vibe. I feel like the girlies love the vibes, you know? So my controversy was, okay, wow, see on here it looks super red, but this is redder than this, but I think it looks cute. So let's go.
Everyone knows you. Mike's been living for the vlogs. I like it. Guys, I'm, I'm back. Oh, I'm back with Rick. You guys remember him from last night? And I have no idea what we talked about last night. We talked about his position because I just learned what it is too. Yeah, and I don't. It? I don't really remember. He's just in charge. It's federal That's Hill. I just call him Federal Hill. Oh my God. The mayor. It's either Federal Hill or Hocus Pocus, right? Hocus Pocus. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's the one that got us in Hocus Pocus. Oh, oh guys, Emily was in Hocus Why? Pocus with us. Yeah. You know Maggie's contact I said Rick that. is in her phone is Rick Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I love that! I love that! I love that! Okay, guys, we're gonna walk. Do you want an umbrella? Because they don't want one. Do you want to take an umbrella? Uh, walking with an umbrella is kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Have fun. It's like, it's like low key embarrassing. Oh, who's this little guy? Yeah! Hell yeah, brother! We went to high school together, but we didn't really know each other in high school. It's Al Academy. It's Al Academy. I hope you edit. I do edit, but that was cute, so you're saying in the vlog. <laughs> Don't you look good? The light's good. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is Nick, guys. Hello, vlog. You had, like, that was, like, sure, a vlog. Sure I'll you, do anything that matches my after vlog. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Thank you. So I lose my license. I want to say hi. Tag my ex girlfriend in this. This is going on YouTube. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I look like a pilgrim. <laughs> Get this thing out of here. Morning, guys. You're probably like, Jess, why are you in the same shirt again? Well, I just had to finish a brand deal and I had to wear the same outfit. So, yeah. Are we grabbing breakfast or coffee? Maybe both. We might go grab breakfast. We don't know. We get a late start to the day. It's a big fall weekend in Rhode Island, so we're staying here. It's a Sunday, and I don't know. We might go back to the festival on the hill. I don't know yet. Uh, we really want to go just because my nieces and nephews are there, and we love like hanging out with them and taking them on the rides. If not, we're going to go to the Situate Art Festival, which is just a lot of fun. And these aren't like specifically Halloween, fall vibes, fall festivals, but like they feel like Halloween and fall because they're every year. It's just a tradition in Rhode Island. And Mike... Mike shaved his beard, he looks so handsome. You look handsome. I love when I can see his face. We're getting brunch. It's always like the cutest fall vibes in this diner. It's an old school diner. There's so many fall specials, but I always go for a Benedict. They're so good here. But I did get pumpkin coffee. traffic this is honestly like if you watch my Washington County Fair vlog such bad traffic insane we're like not moving <laughs> If you want to know what type of man my older brother is, he's the type of man that goes to a porta potty in the middle of an art festival to take a shit. Going to get coffee.
Right now I'm kind of bored and I feel like it's because we were overstimulated all weekend. So we're gonna go take a drive because I just don't feel like sitting at home, but I don't feel like going out either, so. My yard at night is kind of scary. Do you guys know what I love about vlogging? Besides like being personal with you guys and sharing my life with you guys, I just really love how it feels. I'm capturing moments in my life, especially this weekend, like being around people and that type of content. I don't know, just with that type of content, it feels like uh, I'm capturing like home videos, like how my parents used to do, you know? Something, and I'll be able to look back at this and be like, wow, that was such a fun time. Hi. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Morning guys, I have a cute outfit on, like pretty basic but cute. It's the Rory Gilmore sweater, so it's, you know, nostalgic. Um, I need to fix my hair because it's like not being cute today. Yeah, my friends want to go back to the feast today. I don't really want to. I want to editing this YouTube video and then like this is going to be the last day of the vlog, but tonight me and Mike have something really fun planned, so I'm excited about that. He planned a little date night in Newport and we're going to be going on this thing called Rail Explorers and I'll tell you guys all about it later. I feel like this Rory Gilmore sweater is giving Christmas, but it's okay. Okay. Um, this is so bad, but like I'm feeling so insecure lately and it's driving me kind of nutty Um, not to get too into that right now because who wants to talk about that? I'm like kind of hungry kind of hungry But based on the time that I ate yesterday, it was like such a weird time So I kind of went to bed hungry. I kind of went to bed hungry and that means I kind of woke up hungry But like I ate too early yesterday. So then I went to bed kind of hungry I don't know if this is English like what I'm even saying right now, but it's fine I went to bed kind of hungry because I ate too early and then by the time I got hungry it was really late actually and, like everything was closed and I didn't feel like cooking oh there's horsies oh they're little they're ponies look cute so I was saying I've been trying to say this so many times is basically that I'm hungry but I don't know if I want food just yet because I want to go to the feast later and I kind of want food from the feast because that's really good but I could also go for a bagel sandwich so I don't know what to do <laughs> I wish I brought water, I'm so thirsty too. And I don't know what to do about my hair, I don't know if I should put it up, if I should put it down, but. but let me call Mike, see if he's hungry, if he wants me to bring him food. Um, I was probably gonna drop off Buffy there anyway. I, I've taken her to the feast a couple times, but honestly, it's so loud and so much going on, like I think it's a lot for her, so I'm not going to. Spooky! Mm -hmm. Guys, this is Tyler. I I've been friends with Tyler since. 2016. Maybe sooner. Well, before that, I don't know. Hello, Justin's followers. What do I what do I just say? Oh, oh, hello. My name's Tyler. I work here at Constantino's Vendor Bar. Hi. Uh, this is my friend Mike. He's a good bartender. So it's nice to meet everyone. Autumn, fall. Is this live? Is this recording going right to the internet? No, it doesn't go right to the internet. What do you think? Like what? Ouch. We're, all, we're on a vlog camera. Guys, this is my one of my good friends since high school, Naja, her parents, they're the best. Say hi. Thank you. Hi. Come up to Venta for some amazing macaroni. Meatballs. <laughs> So I did the feast today. I'm freaking exhausted. I don't know why I was stayed for like six hours. It's just, you keep seeing people you know. And honestly, I, like as much as of, this was such a fun weekend, but I'm really excited for it to be over. I am like, I mean, you were just saying I'm not a homebody, Mike, but like, I, I don't even know if I'm a homebody, I'm a Mike body. Like I just want to do, yeah, I just want to do everything with Mike. Mike, he's got to work sometimes. Yeah, so Mike had to work today. So I was without him and I missed him. And I feel like, uh, but now Mike got us a really fun date night. I'm really excited. We're going to Rail Explorers, right? You know, the railroad tracks. Uh huh. So I'm gonna vlog that so you guys can see. Cause I don't even know how to explain it. Like, look it up online. It's Rail Explorers. Um, but it's at night. It's with lanterns. It's gonna be spooky. It reminds me of Dennis the Menace. We found this cute restaurant, so we're stopping for a quick bite. And there's all these sailboats around. <laughs> Guys, we're pretty hungry, so I'm ready to eat. Buy a hat. Oh. Have you seen the name 
Jeeps. Oh, oh, oh. This is that. So this is the basket. Okay, so guys, we pedal like this. So I gotta put the camera away. Guys, sorry to interrupt the vlog. I'm editing right now, and I think I heard a ghost on camera. I don't know where it came from, but it sounds like a generic ghost, and I don't know why, but we did not hear it when we were there. I'm just hearing it playing back. And like a few seconds later, Mike says, I think there's a ghost, and I, like we thought nothing of it, but I'm gonna put it, you, you guys can hear right here. Mike, put your head in. Mike, hmm? put your head in. Come forward more. Matching hats. Any shadows coming? Like there's a ghost around us.